so an example of a of a symbol which is nearly trivial. Um, so let's say we've got just two binary numbers, so the zero and the one. And so in our magic box here or in the box, so, so the pulse the pulse modulator, so that's our pulse modulator box. Then this turns the zero and the one into certain values. So let's say the zero turns into minus two and the one turns into plus two. And then on the receiver side, obviously the receiver then knows that the plus two is the one and the minus two is a zero. Yeah, so this could be interpreted, for example, as volts or something like this, um, if this were retransmitted really via transmission line. In this case here, this, this is still digital, so therefore this would be still numbers. But again, we could transmit this directly via transmission line if you want, and could turn this into voltages. And um, important is, so this this whole conversion runs at um, time intervals of t. Yeah, so this. This runs at uh, a rate of one over t, and this is usually called bout. So this is important that um, bout is not necessarily the bit rate because you can also transmit more than more than one bit per per time interval t. So if we just look at another example of a symbol, example of a symbol, so, um, so let's say for example we take two bits, yeah, so we have got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we turn that, for example, into minus 2, this one here into minus 1, this here into plus 1, and this one here into plus 2. So in this case here, so um, at every interval, interval t, we transmit we transmit two bits. Yeah, so this so this means we still have one over t bout, but the bit rate the bit and the bit rate is one over t multiplied by two because in this case here we're transmitting two bits per symbol and so we need to be a bit careful with that because obviously we can transmit many more bits per symbol and we and the idea of digital communications is to squeeze we even more to squeeze even more bits per symbol in there um, up to this point of a theoretical limit what we're also trying to do in this class so let's now think about symbols with complex numbers. So we can also think of symbols with complex values. So this means they can have also imaginary parts and could be and so Let's go for, for the following example to see how this how this works. So imagine we have two bits. So we've got an MSB, most significant bit and least significant bit. And they they can be obviously MSB can be zero and one and the LSB can be also zero and one. So we've got four combinations. So in the past we needed to um um, we could package them with two different voltages, for example, or do it in two different levels. Um, but the other alternative is that we say, okay, so the zero turns into minus one, 
and the 1 turns into plus 1, so that's what we had before. But now what we do is we turn the LSB into minus i and the LSB into plus i. And we transmit that during one symbol interval. So we can transmit two bits during the interval t. So then our symbol becomes complex. So just as an as an example, let's see. Let's say we have here something like zero one 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 zero one zero one. 1. And so now we chunk it up. So the 0, let's say here, so that's our MSB. So this turns into, because it's 0, it turns into, into minus 1. So the 1 is now the complex 1. This is plus i. And this gives us here one complex number. So then, the, then again, so that's the 1 here. So this here, in this, in this case, turns into plus 1, the 0 is minus i. That's our next complex number, and so on and so on. And so that's the general idea with that. Obviously, this can be represented in the classical way that, that we say this is our real axis here, and that's our imaginary axis, and in this case here, here, so the real axis corresponds to the to the MSB, and the imaginary axis here corresponds to the LSB. And then we can draw these different possibilities in here, and um, this is here called called the so-called constellation diagram. Constellation diagram, and um, this will definitely show up a couple of times or many times in this lecture.